My name is um, Dr. Ulrich Spex. I'm uh, a pulmonologist, uh, lung specialist. Uh, I work at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota in the United States. And I, uh, I am an expert for a group of diseases that are called vasculitides, which means the inflammation of vessels. And these inflammation of vessels uh, are also in a group that's called autoimmune diseases, which means that the immune system turns on the body itself rather than what it's doing, what it's designed for, to fight infections. Amongst these vasculitides, there is a subgroup uh, of uh, diseases that are referred to as ANCA associated vasculitides, which means that they have a special autoantibody in their circulation, which is referred to as ANCA. And these diseases um, come in the form of two cousins. One is referred to as granulomatosis with polyangiitis, and the other is referred to as microscopic polyangiitis. We abbreviate them to make it simpler, call them GPA and MPA, and GPA was formerly also known as Wegener's granulomatosis. GPA and MPA affect predominantly the small vessels, and because of that, they can affect the kidneys, the lungs, the nerves, the eyes, and essentially any other organ. Um, GPA has a predominance for the respiratory tract, namely the ear, nose, and throat area, and the lungs, where uh, there is a specific type of inflammation that forms so-called granulomas is taking place, hence the name granulomatosis with polyangiitis. So my talk largely, my two talks, uh, largely focus on this, these two diseases that are associated with these autoantibodies called ANCA. And they come in two varieties again. One is directed against a, an enzyme in our own white blood cells that's called proteinase 3. And the other antibody is um, directed against uh, another enzyme of white blood cells that's called myeloproxidase. So since these antibodies are associated with the disease, their levels in the blood are sometimes elevated when the disease is very active and when the disease is not so active or in remission after treatment, the levels can go down. So my, folk, my um, talks focus on the risk of relapse in these patients with these diseases and how we can best predict the relapses after we have treated the first phase of active disease.